Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to modify the design of a form in Microsoft Access 2016. Now, Access provides you many way to modify a particular form. Now, whenever I select a form, if I go under the View tab, under the View tab, you can see there are three different options. Now, what are the three options? We have the Form View, we have the Design View, and we have the Layout View. Now, whenever I want to change the design of a particular form, I will go and select the Design View. Under this particular section, we can change the design of a particular form, we can add buttons, we can add functions to a form. We will have a better understanding how we change the design of a form in our practical approach. Now we are trying to modify the design of the form so that it becomes more user friendly. So in order to do that, I am taking this customer table from the navigation pane. As you can see, I have this customer table. Now I will move to the form view of this customer table. So in order to do that, I will move to the create tab and I will select form. The moment I click on the form, it is giving me the form view of it. Uh, I'll delete this table below, which I won't be needing. So I simply hit the delete button. Now, as you can see, this is the standard layout of the form, right? Now, we'll, what, are, what we are trying to do out here, we are trying to modify the design of this form. So why do we do this? So it becomes more user friendly for the employee who will be using this form. All right, guys, so let's go and format this form. So in order to do that, I have to go to the form layout tools. And first, I'll start off with the arrangement of this particular fields, right? So um, now by default, it's on a normal mode. So let's go and try to change the design of this form by moving some of this field a little below, right? So I'll select the field which I want to move below. So I want all this to go below. So I'm selecting all of this, pressing the control key. And now on the arrange form, I have something called as move up and move down. So if I click on move down, it you see all the forms design are going down, but I do not want it uh, at the bottom. I'll just move it a little bit upper. All right, so now I have it little bit like this. Uh, perfect, you can also change the size of it by using this arrow keys. So if I click on the size, it can be adjusted. Now the things, the rows and columns which I do not require, I simply select those rows and column and I'll simply hit the delete button so that it gets deleted from the design, right? I simply hit the delete button, now they are gone. I'll pick this others field and I'll drag it here. I'll also pick this, I'll drag it here, right? Now this is a perfect design, as you can see. This is a perfect design. I have the ID, first name, rest of the details. If you wish to add any rows or column in the arrange form, you can go to the rows and column groups and you can insert a row below, uh, above or below or column on the left hand side or on the right hand side. All right, so this how it is to be done. So I have made the arrangement of all the field lists. Now let's try and try to change the design. So now you can also change the design from the design tab from the format layout tools. If I go under the themes tab, if I click here, you can see all the themes which are currently available with me. But now this design will be applicable for all the forms. I do not want this to be applicable on, on the forms. I just want this design to be available on this particular uh, forms. All right, so in order to do that, I can go to the format tab and change the design individually. So let's try to do that. I want to change the layout of this particular tabs. So I'm selecting the tabs for which I want to make the designs, right? I'll go to the fill tab and I'll say, let's fill it with some light blue color with some outline. So I'll select some outline. I'll say I want the outline to be a little bit darker. So I have a darker outline. So I'll select these all again. I'm sorry I'll to select. Perfect. Let's say I go here. I want more colors. If I click on more colors, I can select more colors as well. Right. So these are my recently used. Now I want to change the background of it. So I'll go to shape fill. I say select any random background. So I'll take a yellowish. It doesn't look nice. So let's move to green. Yeah, much better, much better than the previous one, right? If I want to select the things which I do not want, I'll select simply select and hit delete. It will be gone right away. Let's say that I want the text to be modified out here. So I'll simply select the text box, right? make it a little bolder. So I'm selecting these I'll make a little bolder. Let me change the text of the color. Uh, now let's make it right. 
I have some background fill to it as well. Let's change the color name. Right, I'm selecting this again. I'm selecting this to again select one by one so that you make sure that nothing goes wrong. I'll select the text of the color to be white. Much more easier, right? So now I have this layout. I can also give some uh, effects to the layout by going to the shape outline and I say the thickness of the line the way you want it. Perfect, you can select it from here. I can take the line types which you want to be, right? It can be dotted, semi-dotted and the, the, there are various options out here. So this was all about the formatting, the layout. We can also go to the design tab and let's try to insert a button so that it performs certain kind of activity. In order to do that, I have to go to the design tab and under the design tab, I will go to the control group and click on this drop down menu and I have to make sure that my use control wizard is active. Now, right now it's active as you can see it's grayed out. If I click here, now it's not active how we can make the differentiation it's not grayed out right now so i will make sure that it is grayed out and it's being selected so if you see now it is grayed out all right now go uh, let's go and add some button i say i want to add this button i want to place it here right the moment i click on this button a command button wizard opens up now in our microsoft access we generally use this four operations to perform a certain activity. We'll be using this for in our later part of the stages. But as of now, I will go to this record navigation and take a very simple one. Let's say find a record. I simply hit on next. Now you can also display this with the help of a picture. Now if you select picture, it will give you a binocular picture on this button like this and you can do that or I can select select text it's all up to you the way you want it as of now I'll select picture I say next if you also want to add some new picture I can simply hit on the browse and it will give me the option of all the current picture which we have in our system and we can apply those picture to our button as well all right I'll just simply hit next I have this next mini uh, the next window is asking me what should be the name for the button now remember one thing we are just going to type it as uh, searching or search box but that doesn't imply that it will be the name of the button this is just for our understanding in later use if I want to modify this button I should be knowing the name of this button and the name of this button will be search box I'll just hint simply hit finish now you can see there's a, a picture along along this button and the name of this button is search box all right we can also modify this let's go and modify let's try to make it a little bit different let's make it kind of greenish 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 or or let's make it a little lighter okay it will it should be different than the current theme so let's make it blue a little bit blue uh, I'll give some outline to that let's make it a dark blue outline right let's make it much more thicker so if you go to the line type out here I'll make it much more thicker so that it stands out right and you can also give special effects to it let's say giving it a outer shadow right a shadowish effect given to it i can also add, add a background image as you can see in the format tab i have some background image i have some name of the cookies right so you can add an image from the system by clicking on browse or you can s simply use the background image which the access is providing you right now all right so in this way you can modify your form and you can modify the layout and the format of the form in such a way that it becomes user friendly and it will be easier for the employee to use it so this was all about this video in which we learned how to modify and format the layout of a form and it will help me to create a easier way for the employer to enter the database in the customer database all right this was all about this video.